Welcome back. So next, what we're going to do is actually start implementing some real code for our production code, in this case, the product service. In order to do that, we need to start learning a few more things about test-driven development. The first thing is, how do we actually test and make sure that when we need other classes, or in this case, interfaces, sent into our constructors, how can we do that test-driven to make sure, in this case, that we're getting a product repository and even make sure it's not null? So if it's null, we're going to actually throw an exception with a certain message right here, and we're going to do a test of that as well. And another thing we want to do is just make sure that if we do get through our actual product repository right here, we're going to use that product repository when we're getting all products to call this method here exactly once. So we're going to talk about how we can actually ask our methods what they're calling inside other interfaces that it's using. Now, the reason we don't want to explain to the system that like a lot of people, I still see a lot of people doing this, they're making an implementation class in their unit test like this, and they're making some kind of product repository fake DB or something, and using that when they're actually sending this in here. Now, the problem with that is that you're actually starting to work with something like integration testing instead. And what we're doing right here is still unit testing. We don't care when we call the get products if what this guy is going to do for us. We just want to know that we call this method so we don't by mistake call it twice like this because that would be bad. That would be a waste of resources if we called this twice. And if it was a create, we might even create the same object twice in the system by mistake. So we just want to know right here in this product service that we are calling the product repository find all method exactly one time when we are actually calling the get products and the upcoming lessons we're going to try and solve it. So next lesson, I'll clear this out and we'll start from scratch. See you next time. Bye.